Are you tired of not having money and just need some extra cash? Well, you're in luck because I have four ways that you can make money online. From starting in high school all the way to the present day, I've done these side hustles and continue to do some of them. So I know that they work. But before I tell you the three side hustles, you have to promise me something. Don't just watch this video. If you find one of these side hustles to be your cup of tea, actually do it. I really don't want you to just watch this video and do nothing with the information. Try your best to replicate the process and see what you can do with it. Promise? Shake my hand. Cool, we're in business. Let's make some extra cash. The first method I'm gonna be talking about today is freelancing. Now hang on before you click off. It's not just regular freelancing. I would recommend is that you do thumbnails or video editing for people. Why? Right now, YouTube, Rumble, and all these other platforms are getting really big and more and more creators are springing up daily, which means there's more people that need editing, there's more people that need thumbnails, anything of that sort. Some could range from $25 per thumbnail to even like $200 hundred dollars if you get really good like Mr. Beast. When making your thumbnails, you need to use Adobe because that's where the best resources are, but it can get kind of expensive. However, if you're in high school or even college, you could put in your student email and get half off of Photoshop, which is insane. Hang on, let me check mine. Yeah, so usually it's like 50 or $40, but with the student discount, it's like 20 bucks. And when you get skilled enough and have actually clients flowing in, then you won't have to worry about that subscription at all because that YouTuber that bought from you is going to share it to another, then that one to another, then maybe to a whole network. There's a lot of possibility from word of mouth. I would highly recommend that you go into a bunch of YouTuber discords like Nate Wealth, Colin and Samir. These types of discord servers are tons of other people that are looking for editors and even thumbnail artists. So check that out. Trust me, I used to do this a lot whenever I was in high school and I would use Fiverr, but you don't really need to use Fiverr anymore. You could directly charge from them using PayPal. Just make sure you don't get scammed please. But let's say you already have this experience of being a thumbnail artist and even video editing, then I would highly suggest you do YouTube. And I'm not saying that you do a regular YouTube channel. There's actually like three ways you can go about this. There's a personal YouTube channel, a faceless YouTube channel, and a channel dedicated around shorts. I have two videos on this channel where I explained how I did a faceless YouTube channel and went kind of viral, and also where I tried YouTube shorts. And right now, what I've noticed is that there's a lot of faceless YouTube channels springing up that are in the long form content niche but you can still have that faceless YouTube channel and do it with YouTube shorts and still get similar results but faster I have seen this countless times on YouTube and even again discord servers where people are saying that they are doing really good in their niche and that their videos are finally popping off however there's a problem with both long form content and short form content long form is that there is a ton of other channels that have crazy production value editing there is a huge learning curve take a look at the internet anarchists and magnates media and you can see the immense production value that they have however with short form content the downfall with that is that there is a lot of channels popping up out of nowhere people are now seeing that you can make tons of money with YouTube shorts which is fine but all you have to do is stand out you should go in there with a popular idea still but just completely wipe them all out with a new editing style don't be afraid to stick out from the rest because if you're just another clone sure you may get a few thousand views but you won't stick out and if done well the earning per potential is crazy with YouTube shorts and long form content. So if you have the video editing skills and you have skills in After Effects, Adobe in general, then the long form would be for you. However, if you're just now getting started, then I would go with short form. Number three, I gotta preface this one. This one is going to be e-commerce and more likely drop shipping. Now hear me out, I know you've heard that like a billion times, but I'm going to give you the nitty gritty, the actual sauce and truths of drop shipping that no one else is saying. <laughs> Here's the truth about dropshipping. It is very possible. However, you're not gonna make money on your first store. Or second. Or third. Maybe not even fourth or fifth. <laughs> Number two is that dropshipping takes time to master. A lot of all these other skills that I have mentioned, YouTube and being a thumbnail artist and freelancing, all of these still take time to do. Dropshipping is no exception. Unlike the faceless YouTube channels, you should follow other winning products and what other people are doing, but do it better. The good things about dropshipping is that it's very low cost. You can do it practically for free. All you have to do is pay for a product and do organic marketing, which if you don't know is where you buy the product off 
of Amazon and then you try to go viral with it on TikTok. Remember those skills I was telling you earlier? You know, the video editing and short form content. This is the perfect place to apply that. TikTok is purely short form content. So if you could master YouTube, you could definitely master TikTok. The earning potential for dropshipping is insanely high as well. However, your profit margins are going to be very low because you also have to pay for the product. Also website and domain costs. And to top it all off, there's also shipping. There's a lot more to factor in. All of these side hustles have limitless potential if you have the motivation and the grit to do them. So get out there and start making some money. You've still got some people to prove wrong.